Good morning, you guys. Sorry. <laughs> it's not really morning right now. It's almost noon. And we still have a lot to do. I'm excited to be bringing you guys along for a day of my life as I prep for working the next three days. I work three 12 hour shifts in a row in the hospital in the emergency department. And there is a lot I like to do the day before I go into a three day stretch to prepare myself and set myself up for success and ease because honestly those three days four days five days however long you're working in a row for 12 plus hours there is not a lot of time for yourself other than you know going to work and then showering eating maybe slipping a little bit of exercise in there if you can and sleeping obviously therefore i try to minimize as much stress and mess <laughs> and anything I really can um, going into those three days so it can be smooth and easy and I can have a happier day. <laughs> this includes my environment, my home, so cleaning, vacuuming, doing laundry, folding <laughs> laundry, preparing my scrubs, going grocery shopping, meal prepping, doing the dishes, filling my car up with gas, all of those things. We are going to have a super productive day, you guys. This morning, I went to my first ever Pilates class with my friend. It was both of ours first time going. Um, I think the class was called Intro to Matt Pilates and it was very slow paced and it was great. It was wonderful and we will be going back. The instructor really helped us focus on our movements and creating a good form and creating a muscle memory so that way when we do move up to more advanced classes we are doing the exercises correctly and getting the full potential out of them as far as exercising oh my gosh what i'm saying anyways it was really fun we've already signed up for another class we're also going to be trying a reformer pilates class like an intro to it so i really enjoyed that i do feel it in my tummy and my legs already and who knows, maybe this will be something I can add to my weekly routine, maybe going once or twice a week, depending on how much I like it, because they do cost money. Everything in this world is so expensive. <laughs> Excuse me, let me retract my attitude with that statement because you should always invest in your health. That should be the number one priority. So after Pilates, I took a camper on a walk outside, grabbed some coffee, took a shower, got ready, made some breakfast, made some peanut butter toast. I've got my vitamins and something I added recently to my daily regimen that I'm really excited to share with you guys. This something is a product from a company called Beekeepers Naturals. Basically their motto is medicine made natural, borrowed from nature with intentional and innovative ingredients which I stand behind 100%. So I have been adding this Propolis Immune Support Throat Spray. Propolis is a combination of plant and tree resins created by bees to protect their hives. We can use it to help support our immune system because it contains vitamins B, C, and D, zinc, antioxidants, and over 300 beneficial compounds. It's also been studied to be antimicrobial and antifungal to help fight germs. All of their products are made with clean ingredients, free of artificial colors and preservatives. They're third-party tested to ensure they're pesticide-free, which is better for us and the bees. Speaking of the bees, they make sure their bees are far from chemicals and their hives are not over-harvested. This honestly couldn't be a more perfect product for anyone in healthcare, frankly, anybody in general, but especially those of us that work in healthcare because we are constantly around sick people. 
in the ER when we are caring for people within their first hour or two of being there, we have no idea what is going on with them. We don't know what germs they're carrying, what they're gonna get diagnosed with. And I think that this is just perfect to help boost and build our immune system. You can find this product online or at Target. They also have so many other amazing products. I will have a link down below in my description box for you guys along with a 20% discount code. That discount code is Sierra Lynn. Thank you again to Beekeepers Naturals for sponsoring this video, for getting me hooked on this amazing product and being able to share it with all of you guys. On another note, we need to head out. I'm gonna finish my breakfast, take my vitamins, have my throat spray, and we're gonna head to TJ Maxx. I want to look for some brighter pillows to add to my couch and then we're going to go to Trader Joe's and get our grocery shopping in and I'm going to be bringing you guys along for all of it. We made it home, you guys, and thank God, because it is a literal madhouse out there right now. <laughs> um, this is my Trader Joe's haul. This all cost me $76.22, which I feel like was a fairly good deal. I'm going to show you guys everything. So we have some water seltzers here, blood orange, lemon ginger. We have some lime sparkling water, a lemon elderflower soda. Got some coconut yogurt here. It's Trader Joe's Greek yogurt. It's so yummy. I always put these in my lunches. We have a bell pepper and an onion here, and this is for the meal that we're going to prep together. Some bananas, some mushrooms also for the meal that we're going to prep together. Got a little salad kit here. I'm taking this over to my parents because I'm going to have dinner with them tonight. And then some bread. This is the Trader Joe's brand, but it reminds me of Dave's killer bread if you guys know you know it's so yummy and this bread is super good we've got some olives here i could eat this whole jar in one sitting <laughs> they're garlic stuffed they're so good some almond milk some cereal we've got some soup dumplings i've never had these ones normally i get the chicken soup dumplings is that what they're called? Yeah, and I think they're recalled right now, which is scary because I definitely eat those once a week. So we're gonna give those a shot got some frozen peeled shrimp also for the meal that we're going to make together along with zucchini for the meal that we're going to make together along with tomatoes for the meal that we're going to make together and then i saw these and was like i have to try them i've seen them online everywhere and they have mixed reviews they're the like discolored strawberries so we're going to try those together we've got some chicken sausage for the meal that we're going to cook together and then some flowers for my vases and believe it or not these flowers are called mum balls quite interesting <laughs> also i swung by tj maxx and it was partially successful i wasn't able to find pillows that i want for my couch i want like an orange or a yellow not like neon colored pillows but like a muted color to add more color to my house and i haven't found the perfect pillows yet i'm not just gonna buy some to have some because i know the perfect ones are going to pop up and i'm just gonna have to be patient and wait for them because that's what always happens if i don't wait they arrive a week or two later and i'm like are you kidding me but we did have some success so i found this cute little birdhouse <laughs> so darling i have a hummingbird feeder that i got from amazon i'll show you guys i think this is darling too um and i'm so excited to hang them for the spring summertime i just need to get something to hang them on like to connect them to my balcony so i'm probably gonna have to place an order on amazon tonight for that because it's almost spring <laughs> um we also found a water flosser i've been wanting one of these just to try out i think it was 15 dollars so I saw that people put mouthwash in these and that sounds really exciting to me. So 
We're gonna try that one out. We've got some treats for Camper, of course. It's so hard getting him treats because they lost him like a millisecond. So these literally see on here, long lasting. Come here. Come here. And we got another one for him for later. And then we just got a little basket that I'm gonna set over there on that part of my counter that you can't see to put mail and important documents in. So semi-successful. We're happy, we're happy. I am going to pour myself a drink. You're probably wondering why I got so many water seltzers. <laughs> um, or maybe you're not, but I'm gonna tell you anyways. These drinks aren't warm, or sorry, the drinks aren't cold, so I'm adding ice. What do, what flavor do we want? Let's try the lemon and ginger. I haven't had this one before. I am taking a hiatus from alcohol. I haven't had an alcoholic beverage in almost a month now. <laughs> um, and I think that that is going to be my life for the foreseeable future. I feel like it does not serve me whatsoever at this point in my life. And I'm not saying that I'm never going to have another drink. There's country concerts coming up this summer. I'm sure I'm going to want a cold beer or something. But the way alcohol gives me so much anxiety and panic the next morning, it's there's, it's just absolutely not worth it for me to have a drink, which is unfortunate because I actually like the taste of wine and beer. <laughs> so I'm trying to substitute that craving with different seltzers. Also something that's interesting is Trader Joe's does have a non-alcoholic wine section. I've seen it there multiple times and it's hard because I never wanted to buy a bottle because it is still like $15 for a bottle of non-alcoholic wine. But I was like, whatever, today I'm just gonna do it because I wanna try it and see if it's good. And they didn't have any more. So they only had like champagne, non-alcoholic champagne. I don't really want that. So eventually we'll try that together. But for now, this will do. And this is nice because everything out of a wine glass tastes better and I like having something crispy to drink other than water at night when i'm cooking dinner or like in the evening when i take a camper out on a walk i like i like to have that you know what i'm saying they fill that craving but you're not getting intoxicated and you don't feel like absolute garbage the next day so that's where we're at with that let's try these strawberries now i'm gonna rinse one off this looks like a good one Wow, these are good. Let me have another one. Let me just be sure of this. They taste like strawberries. <laughs> They're sweet. They're not super sweet. It would be interesting to do like a blind comparison and like have a bite of one of these and a regular strawberry and see if you notice the difference. I don't really know, but these are good. People that eat this, crazy. Are you okay? You guys, you guys, I cannot make this up. What the hell? Where did the treat go? Camper, you've got a problem. <laughs> wow, long lasting my ass. I'm in the mood for a smoothie, so let's make a smoothie. Plus, these are basically expired and I need to use them. So we've got some chocolate plant protein in here. 20 grams of protein. To be completely transparent, these expired last year. <laughs> but I've been using them and I haven't been getting sick, so that's totally fine, right? We've got some peanut butter protein powder here. Serving size is two tablespoons. But I'm actually going to do three so I really taste it. We've got some frozen bananas here. Let's use these because they're older. Ta-da! 
And then our last ingredient, quite honestly, maybe the most important ingredient, spinach. Got some baby spinach here. We're just going to walk that in. A lot of it. Then I like to add a little bit of water. She is ready to go. So close. Cheers, guys. It is much, much later. I just took a nice, relaxing bath, read my Kindle for a little bit. I ended up staying at my parents longer than I was anticipating, which is totally okay. We are just you know, in a little bit more of a hurry to get the things done that we need to get done, but we're still gonna get them done. I am about to show you this pile, this horrendous pile of laundry that I have been dreading, clearly. Then we're gonna fold, we're gonna hang up, we're gonna put away, and then we still have to meal prep, and then we will go to bed. Actually, there's one more thing I need to do on my computer, which I will talk to you guys about, but let's take a look at my laundry and hopefully, um, you guys can relate to this or maybe I'm alone in this. No, I know I'm not alone in this. It's just, ugh, I hate laundry. We've got all of her on the couch right there. And then we've got some hangers and then she's got a second pile right there. <laughs> There's Camper. I promise he's a happy dog. I don't know why he looks so sad right there. Camper, what's wrong with you? See, it's probably because he's tired. All right, time to tackle this, you guys. Alrighty, you guys, we are 90% of the way through and I just have to put it all away. Everything is folded and hung. This is a lot of clothes. <laughs> We've got some shrimp in the strainer. I'm going to put it in a pan with some butter for a minute or two because it's already cooked. We've got a ton of veggies here. Trust me, they're going to cook down. It's because of the mushrooms, but they will cook down. Also got some zucchini, some tomato, like the best tomatoes. So tasty, I don't know what they're specifically called. And then some red bell pepper. I just topped it with olive oil and then the Trader Joe's Greek goddess dressing is super tasty and this looks really disgusting <laughs> but this is the, the apple sausage with onions and garlic and the onions will cook down too and it's all gonna get mixed together you guys and then we have some brown rice Last but not least, and one of the most important steps is I lay my scrubs out the night before on my washer and dryer. That way I can pop these into the dryer to de-wrinkle them, also to make them nice and warm and cozy. I'll probably grab a sweatshirt from upstairs to throw on too. We got some socks and my hokas. These have become my favorite nursing shoes and running shoes. These are the Clifton Nines. I have them in a different color. But this is so cute. It has all of these different colors on them, so I feel like they match with anything, and they're so, so comfortable. I wouldn't suggest or recommend, you know, bringing your nursing shoes into your home. I would suggest leaving them in a bin in your car, in your garage if you have one, um, but they're in my laundry room. I always try to wipe them down 
when I get off of work, uh, but it is what it is, and here they are. <laughs> and this is my work bag. In it, we've got a couple different things. So I have this green pouch here. This is gonna be kind of hard to do one-handed, but this has my stethoscope, my bag, my trauma shears, so, you know, all the important things. And then this other little pouch, which also has important things. It has a hairbrush, gum, ibuprofen, deodorant, tampons, chapstick, all the things I could need. We have this emergency handbook. I think I got this in ACLS. I haven't opened it. <laughs> since ACLS, but there it is. We have my Kindle here, which is very, very important. And then we also have another emergency manual that I got when I started in the ER that I will probably open as I begin studying for my CEN. Um, what else? Oh, and then obviously when I pack my lunch and my water bottle, I just put all of it in this bag and we're ready to rock and roll. There's just one other thing I need to do. I need to get on my computer and sign up for my CN exam. If you guys have watched my last vlog, are you okay? <laughs> um, I was complaining about it, but here I am signing up for it. So if you aren't familiar with what it is, it is basically a certification specifically for the emergency department. It's a certified emergency nurse. They have a ton of different certifications for different departments and I, long story short, I'm taking this exam. I need to sign up for it. I've been hesitant to sign up for it because it is $380, which is quite a lot of money. So, um, yeah, that's really fun. Ultimately, it'll be worth it in the long run because I will get a pay increase. And I think it's just going to be beneficial for me at this time because I feel like I'm a little bit stagnant at work. Like I see a lot of the same things and I really would like to learn again. Like I haven't been in school in almost two years and I'm not ready to sign up for my bachelor's program. I only have an associate's degree, but I think this is doable. And if I pay for it and sign up for it and pick a date to take the test, then it will force me to have to study for it. And I want to do it before summer's here so I can fully enjoy summer. Let's sign up right now, you guys. And then after this, we will go wash my face, brush my teeth, because I did bring a snack to bed. I got my water, some nerd clusters. I'll see food, we wakes right up. Fill out all this information. You have to find your license number, enter that in, I'm on expiration date, and now I'm just going to pay for it. Another thing is, is when you sign up for this, you have to then take the exam within a 90 day window. It worked. $380. <laughs> gosh okay now I need to schedule a date oh my goodness okay view available tests oh this is interesting you can take it online proctored or on site at a test center I think my coworker mentioned that to me and they told me to take it at a test center I would not want to do this at home maybe that would be beneficial for some people but I think it'd be nice for me to just get in a different environment and have a clear space. So now I'm just entering in where I live and then it's going to show me where a test center is, which I know where the test center is at because I think it's the same place that I took my NCLEX at. Oh, wow. It, it really does cut you off like in that 90 day window. Like after you sign up and pay for it, you actually cannot schedule an exam after 90 days. There's a ton of days that are open. I know what I work and don't work, but I also have some concerts I'm going to in May. So I think I'm gonna hold off on picking the exact date right now because I need to figure out when I'm gonna be out of town 
So I'll probably actually pick the date sometime this month, but we know that it's paid for. I have to do it by the beginning of June. Um, so <laughs> we're gonna get her done and we're gonna get this done and why did I just do that? No, I'm not feeling regret. It's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. Camper is ready for bed and I need to go to bed. So thank you guys for hanging out with us and we'll see you in our next video.